let's go before the Lord in prayer thank you almighty father to speak this to us at this moment that we are one in Christ yes we are cause your children to know this cause your children to practice this towards one another let there be love let there be acceptance among the children of God worldwide Jesus name we pray Amen, Amen. Believers are one in Christ worldwide in 1st Corinthians chapter 12 I read verse 12 and 13 for as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is Christ Christ is the center of attraction it's like a body of course with the head a complete man we are the members of that one body the body of Christ we are the members of that one body. The body is one. Christ is one. And we fix into this one body as many of us as have accepted Christ, believed in Christ, that have been born again. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. That is the body of Christ. We are all baptized, immersed into one body. The body of Christ. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Whether we be bond or free. And have all been made to drink into one spirit. The spirit of Christ. So whatever is our differences. We are one in Christ. Jesus Christ is the universal Lord and Savior. His name and word. Have the same impact worldwide. As we met here. For the conference. From Wednesday to Saturday yesterday. We use the name of Jesus, the Word of God, and the Spirit of God walked among us. So, the same result will be achieved if we meet anywhere else using the same thing. What result? The salvation of God, the deliverance of God, the sanctification of God will experience the same thing because Christ is the same worldwide so his believers are the same worldwide that is what we want to know and so we should see ourselves as one worldwide here the Bible says whether we be Jews or Gentiles nations should not separate us tribes should not separate us ethnicity should not separate us our differences in race should not separate us i'm talking about believers in christ whether we be jews or gentiles whether we be born or free our class class difference should not separate us some people are masters others are servants some people are great others are lowly are, are, are of low rank it should not separate us that has no meaning whether we are great 
or we are small we are one body we belong to Christ worldwide we should accept one another we should love one another we should appreciate one another that's what the Lord is saying this is essential for Christian unity especially that which the Lord expects of the church at this end time that will be welcoming our Savior in the rapture in the book of John chapter 13 the Bible is telling us we should recognize one another accept one another yes verse 34 and verse 35 a new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another universally children of God accept one another relate with one another be free to marry one another no class difference no tribal difference no racial difference as long as you are in Christ we belong to one body the body of Christ one body the world has its own differences but let's not follow the world don't follow the world in their differences don't follow your family members don't follow your tribal people don't follow your national people don't follow your racial people the people of your race don't follow them to do what they do in the world all of us are commanded as children of God a new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you that ye also love one another accept in Christ you can do business with each other with one another whatever tribe whichever nation you are from as long as you are in Christ together in Christ together let's remember this song we sing I don't care what tribe you belong to but as far as in Jesus we stand if by grace through faith you have been saved as I your my brother so give me your heart you're my sister so give me your heart I don't care what race I don't care what race you belong to but as far as in Jesus we stand if by grace through faith you have been saved as I your my brother so give me your heart you're my sister so give me your heart what class I don't care what class you belong to but as far as in Jesus we stand if by grace through faith you have been saved as I or my brother so give me your heart you're my sister so give me your heart that is the world those tribes race class mean nothing as long as you are in Christ as I am in Christ with his righteousness you are my brother you are my sister give me a hand of acceptance that is what the Lord is looking for now children of God unite children of God accept one another children of God agree with one another children of God relate with one another relate don't allow the power of the flesh to rule over you you are no longer in the flesh but you are in the spirit don't over, uh, allow the character of sinners 
to rule over you you are no longer a sinner you are a saint in christ therefore as they have accepted jesus christ in nigeria in in africa in europe in america in asia everywhere we are one everywhere we are one we are we are a unity of people this is special in christ so but let's look about the division in the world the division in the people of the world there are divisions in the people of the world number one there's gender division there are some people are male some are female that's to say we have men we have women this is a major division among the human creature we also have racial division there are people that are white some are black some like the chinese have their own race the indian and various skin and colors so these are there in the world these are their racial differences again we have national differences this place is called nigeria we have been a republic to our been a republic togo ghana burkina faso we have Cote d'Ivoire in Africa. We have Cameroon. Move, let's go over. We have other nations in, in the East Africa, in West Africa, in South Africa. Yes, in North Africa. They leave Africa. We go to Europe. We have various nations in Europe. We have various nations in, I mean, various nations in Asia. Of course, we have America too so all this is there but all these are there we have more than 210 nations in the world these are independent nations having their rulers over them showing the the they are an entity to themselves yes they are an entity not controlled by another these are there also we have in the human we have in we have class distinction some people are higher class they are what we may call the fortunate people in this life higher class maybe by education they have got they have gone to school and others didn't go to school they're educated some are not or even among the educated we still have class that those who are who have been educated to higher degree while others have not reached that so it's still class you are not as i am i've gone beyond you we have differences in class again as businessmen some are international business people while some are national some are local there is class also we have the rich and the poor the very rich the medium rich and the poor and the very poor so we have class difference also among all these ones in the present world we are living in we have tribes we have tribes also there is tribe a tribe b tribe c tribe d to tribe z in the nations of the world some nations are one single tribe others are diverse tribes maybe moving towards a thousand so we have tribes and even among these tribes they are divided into ethnic group the tribes are divided into ethnic group so there are further divisions further divisions to the family unit and then even in the family we have brothers we have sisters and we have individuals so these are there in the family attitudes of the natural men on earth towards each other 
that is what the Lord is warning us from copying you belong to a class you belong to a tribe you belong to a nation in the natural world that, 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 that does not know Jesus how do they behave in Romans chapter 8 verse 5 to verse 8 Romans chapter 8 verse 5 to verse 8 for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh can you see that the natural mean mind the things of the flesh your tribal man is mind the things of the flesh he sees you with great delight great joy why you are his tribe he sees the the, tri the man of tribe b with uh, resentment it may be he does not consider him he's not he's not rejoicing as a success of the man in trap c why it's not my tribe if one if his tribal man becomes a governor becomes a president what is celebration our tribe our tribe that's how they play it come to the nation what about the footballers when they win the country rejoices wow our footballers they have won they've got the cup while the other country is sorrowful this one is boston that one is sorrowful so that's what they do in the world that's how they live in the world you see this boston why they are the carnal men because of their carnal life there is you will find what pride manifesting in them one tribe is proud over another tribe one tribe looks down contempts and despise but despises another tribe one tribe is boasting because we are the tribe that makes it we are recognized we are large we are like this we're intelligent we are well educated one tribe bores over others this is what they do yes there's envy and criticism one towards another the poor criticizes the rich look at them they resent them the rich despises the poor who are these people remove them from the way i want to pass that's what they do in the world why because of carnality flesh walking in them for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh the glory over matters of the flesh or they get sorrowful after matter, matters of the flesh when you see which tribe you see he is of tribe d and you know that tribe d are militant people tribe d are like this they are like that they are forceful tribe and then you try you you you, 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 you uh, the people of tribe b are against them the people of tribe b criticizes them the people of tribe b is ang are angry with them we're telling you this because you belong to one of these sections you belong to one of these divisions and your fellow brother in christ by nature belongs to another tribe belongs to another class belongs to another race belongs to this and that what the lord is saying don't follow your people to begin to behave strange with the other people because of some differences in you in christ there is no difference everybody say it say it again exactly be very careful with your life 
that you don't fall into this very often it is said the Ibu tribe will not want to marry the Yoruba tribe this tribe will not want to marry any person from the other tribe don't bring yourself to this if you are a Christian don't join them don't say I will not give my daughter to a, that born again brother that is of another tribe the Lord is warning you the Lord is rebuking you don't learn the ways of the world what do they do in the world there is segregation there's segregation stand come here you are you belong to me here leave them leave them it's just like a vehicle is going to maybe it's going to Abuja and a group of people gather somewhere looking for vehicle you just come there which one of you is of this tribe are my tribal people here raise up your hand oh look oh, okay come and enter come and enter come and enter it's my tribe no I love them I love my tribe that love is not pure that love is not clean that love is not righteous so the Lord is saying brethren the world is finishing Jesus is coming let the church be one let believers be one everywhere manifest this oneness exalt the family of Christ above the family of the world that is what the Lord is saying exalt it exalt the gathering in the church above your tribal gathering above your racial gathering above your class gathering that people or all, all that you see them here they are professors they are professors all that are here are professors nobody with a doctor who, who does that is just doctorate without being a professor is in this meeting ah what how much more i'm talking about master's degree or first degree no 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 these are professors what does that mean is that higher than the body of christ is that higher than the people of god don't do that don't don't oh these are business tycoons all the all that are here now they are people who are dealing with billions they are dealing with billions oh they are international businessmen they, uh, what business have you been which how many countries have you been to for business oh no 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 you're not part of this meeting just be going just be going you are talking to your brother in christ you're disdaining your brother in christ because of mundane things of this life when the lord is saying let's come together did you not hear that there was a shaking in the valley and booms were moving to booms the lord is bringing christians together the Lord is bringing believers together. Don't put on the character of the world. That is what the Lord is saying. There is also the superiority complex. Superiority. Maybe, what country are you? Are you from? I am from Niger. Uh, what about you? I'm from Chad. Uh, what about you? I am a Nigerian you feel an air as if that makes you go to heaven automatic that's the pride you're looking down on another don't do that as long as we're dealing with the body of christ the people of god worldwide that's why he is saying whether you are jew or you are greek or whatever you are we are one body in christ yes oh others inferiority complex if a white man comes now everybody falls tell because they say that we are black they are white this is a superior man standing before me what makes him superior because he has white skin what makes him superior because he has flowing hair she has flowing hair what makes us superior oh because she has long nose what makes us superior is it not the creature of god why are you feeling small why are you feeling too small before that person 
what makes oh you from this tribe you look down on another person why are you looking down oh you are even of the same tribe they say the other tribe is osu the other one is like this they give them names and treat them second class we are the first class that's the world we cannot marry second class these are second class we can't marry them who told you which way are you better than a believer that is from that place which way are you better than a child of god that is from where that your people are contenting you're joining that don't you know that you're of the spirit don't you know that you're not of the flesh it's people that are in the flesh that mind the things of the flesh yes don't do that back to that romans chapter 8 for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit now take it if it is the things of the spirit that you should be minding what are you saying why do you think because that man is a black man he can never be baptized with the holy ghost is that what you think i'm asking the white man i'm asking those with racial attitudes are you thinking that because the man is a short chinese man he cannot jesus cannot be inside him because look at this they're very short 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 jesus will not be there oh what is your reason if you mind the things of the spirit are you thinking because he is an indian he cannot be holy he cannot be holy that god cannot serve him what is your reason why are you thinking so don't join the world they that are in the spirit mind the things of the spirit if you mind the things of the spirit because you are spiritual then all you have in you your brother has it also although it's not your tribe all you have in you your sister has it also although it's not from the, your country it's not from your country the dignity of christianity he has it although he is not of the same color of skin with you the glory of christ rest upon him although he did not go to school as you do as you did then if we're minding spiritual things do we have any reason to boast over one another cannot the lord choose him over you if i mean cannot god choose this man over you why do you think because god has chosen this man over you you look down on him why he came from the lower class who makes the classes and uh, who makes classes you say he came from which class who, who decides which class is low and which class is high can you now mean that pe those people there the chinese the, ja the people of japan that ca that produce and manufacture many things but don't know god are higher than the uh, uh, the, so the, the people from liberia are they higher than the people from uh, cameroon are they higher because they can manufacture do they know jesus now are the high people high because of mundane things of this life because of money because of things they can manufacture because of the kinds of buildings they have in them is that what makes them higher people that you respect them above others which you call low have you not heard that god has respect 
to the things people count lowly. The things people count of non-significance. God respects them. He has given more regard to things that are not to mix the to make the things that are that are to be ashamed i'm telling you when Eliab came before samuel oh the lord's anointed because you look at the physique of Eliab, the structure the build up but what did the, did the lord say i have rejected him i have refused him so what makes you to look down on somebody is it not tribe will the people of your tribe go to heaven then what matters in this life the earth or heaven what makes you think that you cannot serve under the other person because you are a degree holder and he stopped at primary primary six does that determine who goes to heaven who, who doesn't go does that determine whom god can be with and whom god cannot be with then why are we following the world why are we thinking after the pattern of the canal me people of the flesh why are we not following god but are raising up shoulder after vanity uselessness things that have no meaning a family that has no that oh all our families are graduate all family members are graduate does that mean anything are you are your names in the book of life yes after the flesh the people will rejoice they say our family members they are in high positions in life we are special in this town we are special in this city everybody recognizes us in fact when the president visited the president came to our house because of our brother you boast that is human beings carnal people people who are spiritual think differently they think differently they think so badly they think so badly they think humbly they regard others in christ that is what the lord is telling you otherwise you will not run through with this work the lord has given to us in end time your pride will exclude you pride of tribe pride of race pride of nation will exclude you maybe you're in another country very or some of these countries they count them to be advan ad uh, advantageous in one way or the other and now the lord is saying come over to this country he said no this country is, is where i am is high there's prestige to be in this place to say you are in america what a prestige how will you ever ask me to come back to africa i said no 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 no, no. that's a demotion you are after the flesh those that are in the flesh mind the things of the flesh that's why your mind is thinking that way you're after the flesh otherwise you would know that come oh bethlehem despise among men but you has the lord chosen to be the place that he that is coming from everlasting will come from bethlehem bethlehem you are small and despised among many among other places but the lord has chosen you the lord has chosen you he told Saul, when you were small in your eyes did i not choose you to be king when you were small in your eyes did i not choose you is god going after big people is god going after great people how many what how many wise men check your calling brethren how many wise men have been called how many great men have been called has not god despised those who are great after the world and chosen babes 
has he not chosen common things even that which is despised things that are not to bring to shame things that are to show that if any man will glory let him glory in the lord so brother be peaceful if they despise you but glory in the lord in the sight of god you're greater than them in the sight of god you're more than them in the sight of god they cannot be comparable to you never how can the dead be better than the living how can those who are dead in sin be better than those who are alive in christ is it true can it happen therefore it is they that are in the flesh that are boasting don't join your tribal people don't that's what the lord is saying that is what the lord is saying don't join them believers must not relate to one another after the manner of the worldly mean don't in mark chapter 10 verse 35 mark chapter 10 verse 35 the bible says 35 to 45 and james and john the sons of zebedee came and i come unto him saying master we would we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire and he said unto them what would ye that i should do for you and he said unto him grant unto us that we may sit one on thy right hand <laughs> and the other on thy left hand in thy glory but jesus said unto them ye know not what ye ask can ye drink of the cup that i i drink of and be baptized with the baptism that i am baptized with and they said unto him we can and jesus said unto them ye shall indeed drink of the cup that i drink of and with the baptism that i am baptized withal shall ye be baptized but to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared and when the ten had it <clears throat> they began to be much displeased with james and john but jesus called them to him and said unto them ye know not ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the gentiles exercise lordship over them and their great ones exercise authority upon them but so shall it not be among you but whosoever will be great among you shall be your mass minister and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all for even the son of man came not to be ministered unto but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many james and john they were two brothers they were two brothers they had ambition one of them had ambition what was the ambition to be greater than the rest of the apostles whom would he sell his ambition to because jesus has right hand and left he will go to the right but somebody should be in the left who is that person that should be in the left it should be his brother of the same father and mother can you see family pride why didn't you choose uh, judas to go with you why didn't you choose matthew to go with you to go and be in the left you you have chosen right hand side let, let somebody be on the left why didn't you choose another no this is my brother our family our family that's the problem this is ignorance that god wants to remove from your life he wants to remove it from the church these people were even born again and they had this thing who should be the a coordinator in this place you are thinking of your tribal men who should be the leader of this place you are thinking of your tribal people who should be this you are thinking of your tribal people don't do that don't you will leave the holy ghost you will be going canal you will be going canal you will leave the spirit because the spirit chooses whom he whomsoever he wills the fact that he picked you from your family does not mean he must pick the second person from your family 
and if he must even pick from your family it's not your choice so god doesn't want this flesh thing fleshly things that they do in the government if a man is there is a believer he does not think of believer from another side it is from his family is among his tribe is among this to give job to him because ah we're there oh god has brought me so that my, my tribe will go up that is the world god is looking for people that will serve him will exalt him in the world they need resources they need proper placement for the revival of christianity in the world and you are busy talking about tribe so that you can conveniently bring an, an unbeliever because he's from your tribe so don't go that way don't follow that jesus rebuked it he said it shall not be so among you it shall not be so among you don't go on class somebody of my class if god leads you in marriage don't be bringing class go and find out is she which university does she has she graduated from oh she didn't go to university ah no 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 uh, i can't it will, i will be ashamed when my colleagues will be asking me which school your wife graduated from and i say no she stopped at secondary school they say eh you you are you are after the world you can't get the best from god the lord is giving you a woman that will take you to heaven assist you in in the way to heaven you are thinking of a woman that will struggle with you compete with you that's thought of the flesh don't do that that is what the lord is warning don't follow the way of the hidden don't follow the way of me local me don't follow their way that's what god is warning you god is rebuking you yes in the book of isaiah chapter 65 verse 5 isaiah 65 verse 5 the Bible says which say stand by thyself come not near to me for I am holier than thou these are a smoke in my nose a fire that burned all the day these are people they are too precious stand by thyself is like the jews now the jews will not want to relate with anybody no stand by yourself we're holier don't come near that's what they do don't come near to me that's what some tribes behave they will never want to associate with people from other tribes never stay there i don't trust you that is of the world don't bring it to christ don't bring that attitude to christianity when god made man male and female he did not make tribe he did not make tribe he made man tribes came up later because of circumstances because of of course the wisdom of god but it's carnal is not to be used to affect the kingdom of god that you don't want to relate with people of other nation you don't want to relate with people of this the white man will not want to have a black man no 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 who is this black man is he speaking through his nose no i i it's, it's a shame to sit under him some will even say as they enter church in the white man's land the seat the black man sits all the other white men uh, white people that are coming in men and women will not sit there eventually you're the only one in that line 
Why? You are black. Is that in the church? The church of Christ? Where, where do you think Jesus was sitting? Is Jesus not sitting with that man, the black man? Is his creature? Is it you to despise the creature of God? Leave that to carnal men. If you are a white, a white man, respect God. Respect his handiwork. Nothing is special in your life. Nothing. Well, I have light skin. People love light skin. But it can easily be injured. That's why sometimes you see blood. Romans with you are seeing blood. The blood inside you see with your eyes. Ah, black skin, very thick. It, very difficult to be injured. It's wisdom. God did them all. All for his glory. All for his glory. That when people see these various classes, they will press him. So don't bust. If you say this one is too black, what about your case that is too light? Should we be bothering about this, this disadvantages in our race? No. It's your brother. It's your sister. In the Lord, one body. One body. Let there be no racial difference. Allow God to have his way. Let God do his work. Let God join whichever, whichever people he wants to join together for the ministry in marriage in whichever way the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof the people and them that dwell in it let god have his way everybody said let god have his way exactly exactly therefore we don't expect in holiness revival movement that a, a leader is sent to a particular place no 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 we need our own now which one is your own come which one is your own do you have your own in heaven do you have your own in jerusalem where jesus christ came and walked and was crucified he walked among the jewry do you have your own there even the jews by their selfishness the gospel eluded them yours is god who do you have to take us to heaven who do you have to take us there to teach us your way we are available for your will to be done that is your own spirit how it should be like in jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1 Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1 the Bible tells us here saying hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you O house of Israel verse 2 thus yet the Lord learn not the way of the hidden that's what the Lord is telling you don't learn the way of unbelievers the way they treat people the way they deal with people don't learn the way of unbelievers yes don't some of these people if they see a particular people of another race it's as if they should kill them their thought is high kill kill your brother is of that race are you thinking that way are you carrying the hatred of your own people native people to, to the church and be hating a brother just because of which nation he came from just because of what tribe he came from just because of which ethnic group he belongs to just because of which type of family he came from are you going to be using that in the church of Christ Leave that to carnal men. Leave that to carnal men. That is what the Lord is telling you. What believers must not do. Yes, in the book of Luke chapter 9. 
verse 51 to 56. Luke chapter 9, verse 51 to 56. The Bible tells us here saying, Yeah. And it came to pass, when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem and sent messengers before his face. And they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was toward was as though he would go to Jerusalem. Tribal problem. Why is he not coming to us? Why is he going to Jerusalem? Why not among our people? Why shouldn't he stay here? Brethren, he is going back to heaven. He has done the work for you Samaritans, for all the people in Israel, for everywhere. He is now going to Jerusalem because from there he will be passing to heaven. He said, no. We will not allow him. He's going for, for his tribal people. If he will not stay here in Samaria, we will not allow him. You see this type of canal people. Canal. We will not give him land. That, that pastor is from another country. Why are you people supporting a pastor from another country? Why are you giving land to somebody from another country? It's not our own. You should be attending church with attend the church of our own preachers of our own country that person is a foreigner why are you accepting him why are you following him why are you giving land to him the world but in christ we're all one from every nation of the world as long as we are in christ we're born again we're living righteous as long as our god has called you to his service we see you as we as, as ourselves we are one that's how we see ourselves foreigner doesn't mean anything the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof wherever a man stays he's from the north he is from the west, he is from the south, he is from the east, immaterial. He is what tribe? Immaterial. Ours is the Lord has appointed him. Our God has appointed him. We accept. We accept. We accept. Even the people of the world, don't they? It, it is, they have accept people that come from some other tribe to rule as governors they vote for them how much the church should accept people from everywhere as long as they're children of god born again chosen by god called by god anointed by god without bigotry without contrary mind without selfish thoughts no pride yes it's our own people the, now the government has, the, the church is now in our hand which hand hand of sinners is it tribal business is it state business is it national business is it racial business so let's see what the lord is calling us learn not the way of the hidden now the samaritans were trying to block jesus because he is going to jerusalem and another carnal behavior came up at this time from believers that's why the lord is rebuking you for these things don't bring it to the church if they need another coordinator let's ask god to give it if they need another chapter leader let's ask god to give it if they need another house leader let's ask god to give it they need another pastor let's ask god to give the person but don't bring the flesh after the pattern of the world into it now the samaritans have refused it should not pass then what says the scripture 
verse 54 to 56. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume these people? These people are lucky that you're even giving them attention. Are they not Samaritans? Who are they? That real people want to pass through their land and they want to say, you should not pass. Lord, just give us a chance like this. Just stay here. We'll handle this matter for you. We'll fight it through. We'll command fire as Elijah did and consume these people. That is what they said. But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. You are not of the world. They are not of the world as I am not of the world. Father, keep them through thine own name. While I was in the world, I kept them through thine own name. They are not of the world. Sanctify them through the truth. Thy word is truth. You don't know the spirit you are of. You are going to fight tribal war. You are going into tribal struggle. It's for our tribe. You are going to do this thing. You are silently killing somebody, Moses, because an Egyptian and he's not an Israelite. You are planning to kill him. Yeah, he's oppressing your people. So you're planning. You're angry. Is that Christianity? Is that God's life? That's the question. Jesus said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. The spirit that is in you is the spirit that is gentle and loving and deals and deals peaceably with all men. How much more with those in Christ? How much more will with those in Christ? For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's life, but to save it. Don't secretly plan against any man. Not even because the man is doing evil against your tribe. The man is doing evil against your family. The man is doing what? Take it to God in prayer. The Lord will handle him. Be clean. Ye are not of the world. As I am not of the world. That is what Jesus is telling us. Yeah. In 1 Corinthians. Chapter 5. Verse 2. Verse 6 to 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 2. Verse 6 to 8 verse 2 and ye are puffed up and have not rather mourned that he that had done this deed might be taken away from among you you are proud you are puffed up boastful over iniquity in your people your people went on tribal war and burned down the other city Killed many people there. He said, hey, our people, our people. Yes, yeah, they're the warriors. Come, which people are you talking about? Is it, is it holiness people? Is it believers? Whom are you celebrating with? Whom are you jubilating about? Over what achievement? Achievement of wickedness? Achievement of evil? You're jubilating? You have not had a moan. Oh, this tribe are bringing problem upon themselves. Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy. You are not mourning. Your brother, come. Your brother went and stole a new car from a company and brought it home. He said, hey, I said my brother can make it. Yes, we have that ability. We know how to do it. This is our family. We are gifted on stealing. Is that not so? Exactly. You rejoice. You have not rather mourned. 
that he that has done this this should be taken away from the family which means jubilate on righteousness jubilate on that which will give glory to god and not that which brings the anger of god the wrath of god now in verse 6 it says your glorying is not good your glorying along with your tribe for evil deeds is not good your glorying is not good know ye not that a little leaven leaven at the whole lump that you will you might also be affected that which your tribe has done and you're jubilating with them if the re, if the repressal attack is coming you may not escape do you know that it will affect all members of your tribe elsewhere even the innocent one in other places no you know that a little level living at the whole long this thing that you have tribe have done will give a bad name to your tribe bad reputation before god and you're rejoicing no your glorying is not good brother sister touch your heart from the old life verse 7 Got, the Bible says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed unto for us. Purge out that old life, that unity with your tribal people in the flesh, that unity with your racial people in the flesh, that criticize the other, disdain the other oppresses the other purge out that type of life it's not of god purge it off clean yourself from that type of life and don't envy christians from other tribe don't envy christians from other nations don't disdain them don't follow your nation your nation in the national pride you are not of this world you are of christ don't glory after the flesh let him the glory glory in the lord glory in the righteousness of god glory in the holiness of god that is what the lord is saying that's his word do not join your carnal people race tribe or family to show pride despise despise or boasting over others don't boast and be proud over your brother because he belongs to the tribe your people normally boast over them he belongs to the tribe your people belittle them don't boast manifest pride over your sister because he is from a nation that depends on your own nation for food for hell and your nation burst over them and you want to join them to burst over your sister are, are you in christ no don't you know that we are one one in christ and we're higher than the the sinners of the world don't join your carnal people these tribal people your family to show superiority complex over other people because you have met a name because your tri your family is the royal tri royal family your tribe is the ruling tribe don't put down those things you are not of the world of what benefit is that to you what are you glorying about uh, on that does it help you to go to heaven will it increase the number of people going to heaven in that tribe don't join them people of your nation people of your tribe people of your race to show superiority complex because of skin because of what because of what oh we are in the western world we have been we know uh, we know development we the third world country depends on us are you the one to take them to heaven they depend on you to go to heaven has not god turned to the third world country for revival 
for holiness are they not even the ones sending missionaries to you if by if without if it is not the, by their work could you have survived check how many preachers are from your country how many preachers how many true preachers is it not from this area the lord sends preachers are you, what are you boasting boast never material things that will pass away so don't join your tribal people don't join your your your, your racial people don't join what to boast over others your brethren are there Touch out your your, your the, the old uh, living. Touch your life. Get yourself sanctified. Get yourself thoroughly purified. Again, don't join them to hate or envy others. Just hate. This is very important. Go and work on yourself. Go and work on yourself because the man of another tribe and that particular tribe, your people hate them. He is now the one in the pulpit. Yeah, brethren, the Lord is here. The Lord is here. You are looking at him like this. <laughs> you are bringing the thing from outside here. You won't go to heaven. You will not because you are not new. If anybody is in Christ, who is he? It's a new creature. Why are you not new? All things have passed away. Why have you not allowed the old character of your tribal people to pass away from you? Why have you not allowed the old behavior of your national people, people of your nation, to pass away? Why are you still carrying it? Don't join them. Why are you hating people? Because he is of another tribe. You hate him. You despise him. You can't submit to him. You are superior to him. You are higher class. Your class is high. That's what. Check him. See how many high men come to fellowship with us. They say we are little children. Except they don't have anything to do. Why should they be here? Are they going to heaven? They want to be moving by siren. Are they? Is siren going to blow them to heaven? That's what I'm telling you cast off those things they don't have anything to do with heaven that you have you are a degree holder you are a master's holder you are a doctorate you are a professor what does that mean come how many who knows you apart from that university which which other place what about when you retire are those things that matter that should be giving you pride and superiority complex over others now, as for you, why are you inferior? Feeling uh, you're, I'm inferior. I'm from uh, they disdain our tribe. No, I won't talk because they disdain our tribe. God has given you something to do. God has given you something to say. Samaritan woman, Jesus said, Give me water to drink. Ah, how can you be asking me, a Samaritan woman? You being Jew. Are you asking me to give you water to drink? No, we are not. We are not fit to give water to Jews. We are too inferior. You are inferior in their eyes, but the Lord has chosen you, chosen you and has lifted you up. Hallelujah. The Lord has lifted you up. I said the Lord has lifted you up. It is his nature. For in that day Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, Father, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto birds. Even so, it has pleased you. Humble your life that God may exalt you. He that exalted himself shall be a best. That is the life of God. Don't join your people in pride, racial pride, tribal pride, family pride, class pride. We are royal family. Royal family. You rule the world. Royal family. And it may be one small village like this. That pride. People will not rest. Royal family. I am a prince. I'm a princess. Hey, human being. Die to those things. And be a, a meaningful person for Jesus. A Christian for Jesus. So that the Lord will use you. 
otherwise people will reject you if they see pride in your life they will reject you and the gospel in your hand will not be accepted it will be your personality you will be presenting and not jesus your personality will be what you'll be presenting and not jesus and if you are proud people are angry at proud people people are angry at proud people so don't be proud be humble may god make you different from your tribes Amen. there are some qualities in some tribes qualities of love qualities of humility qualities of generosity qualities of care some tribes naturally have this that one beautiful it's a good thing it's a good thing practice it it's fine get it refined by the bible by the scriptures perfected by the scriptures and practice it that one is good don't join your plan, your tribe to plan evil against others to criticize others to manifest the spirit of master servanthood against others to segregate yourself from others don't wherever you find yourself in the world you find other believers there accept them don't disdain them accept them yes give more attention love friendliness to the family of christ more attention more love more friendliness to the family of christ sons and daughters of god than to sinners because they are your tribe or they are from the same place with you or they are of the same class they are your classmates or what no don't do that in the book of matthew chapter 12 the bible tells us in matthew chapter 12 verse 46 to 50 while he yet talked to the people behold his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him then one said unto him behold thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee and he answered and said unto him that told him who is my mother and who are my brethren for whosoever I'm, I'm, I'm verse 49 and he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said behold my mother and my brethren for whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven the same is my brother my sister and my mother do, do you agree yes, do you agree yes, all believers that do the will of God are your brothers are your sisters and your mother all believers worldwide that serve our God in righteousness in holiness they are our brothers they are our sisters they are our mothers himself he didn't mention father because nobody on earth is father to him but we will commission father now praise the Lord yes all believers in the world they are our mother they are our fathers they are our brothers they are our sisters because we are one family we are here of the father we are joined here with the son with the son we are children of the kingdom we are a family we are raise up your hand we are one that is it these are my brothers and my sisters it's not unbeliever at that time his brothers have not believed on him should he leave believers and be given attention to unbelievers and say my brother brother for what are they going to heaven 
Should he live one, wash in the blood of Christ, sanctify, working for your, your Lord and Master, fighting the battles of life over the devil, and then to support that one, say, No, my brother uh, is my brother. Which brother? Is he born again? That is the word of God. It doesn't mean you won't support them. It doesn't mean he despised his relation. But the first place, first place should be given to those in Christ and your tribal people. First place should be given to those in the church. Yes. That is what he said Galatians. Chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6 verse 10. The Bible tells us. Galatians chapter 6 verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Now we'll read it together. One, two, go. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men in our nation, especially unto them who are of the household of faith that are from Ghana, from Sierra Leone, from uh, America, from Europe, from uh, Asia, from especially. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good to all men in our tribe, especially unto them who are of the household of faith and are from the other tribe, tribe A, tribe B, tribe W, tribe Z. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good to all men in our family, especially unto those who are of the family of who are in the household of faith, who are of the other family, family A, family B. Fam are you hearing? The Lord wants to bring his people together. We, let the Lord use you to promote Christianity. Let the Lord use you to promote those who are on righteousness. Let us come together and do exploit for Jesus. Except you encourage them. If you relegate them to the background and be giving attention to people who are not born again, how can this gospel move forward? How can they? Here is a born again man. Zealous for Jesus. He has no job. And you have opportunity to give him a job. If he can have money, a thousand souls will come to Jesus. You know him. But he said, my uncle's son graduated for five years now. Uh, let me give him so that he will help the family. Which family? I said, which family? Family of the world. But this person in the family of Christ that will bring a thousand souls to Jesus. If he can just get money to buy microphone, buy megaphone, buy public address system. If he can just get money and get a mobility that will carry him from village to village, tribe to tribe, city to city. He, what he would do for Jesus. He said, oh, no, it's my family. Stop that. The, Jesus is coming. Recognize the family of Christ. Recognize the family of Christ. That is what he's telling us. Very important. Romans chapter 12, verse 3. Romans. And that doesn't mean you can't do good to your family members. Yes, the Holy Spirit will lead you to do good to them because some will also become born again. But he's telling you the point of emphasis. Of course, you have responsibility to feed your family. And of course, to do them good, that's your responsibility, whether they're born again or not. But the Lord is also telling you, don't neglect the house of God and give more attention to people after the flesh. So, 
chapter 12 of Romans verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Think, not to think of yourself more highly. Come, never you think this thought again. That you come to church, you feel for any advantage of the world, you are higher than people sitting down here. Don't think that. Don't. Don't. Think that for any advantage on money, any advantage of education, any advantage of political position, any advantage of, of, of what journeys you have made in life, as you sit down here, you begin to allow a high thought that is thinking that you are better than anybody, than even the pastor. Then you are not in Christ. If you were in Christ, you would have known that Solomon was right. When he said, vanity of vanities. Finish the rest. That is it. Then what are you busting over vanity about? If you die, will you get something? To, will you have something? Will you be going with something? But these people that are here now, in cry, if they die, angels will lead them home. Angels will lead them to heaven. But you, with all those things you think you have and have achieved, if you die, will you make heaven? Then why are you thinking you're higher than anybody here? You're higher. You look and look. There's nobody for me to marry here. Nobody. Is it what God said? Or what you are saying because of your high life? Come down and be a Christian. Let's be together. Let's be united. Let's walk together. Let's respect one another. Yes. Respect one another. Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2 tells us about the life. He said in verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind. Let each esteem other better than themselves lower your heart respect other people even more than yourself even more than yourself respect people god wants us to do that god wants us to do that where is she where is she proud she said she is wearing shoes and that these shoes they bought it from america and that the issue is not in the hall of benicity so she's sitting there and for your information i'm not seeing that shoe as i'm sitting there standing here am i seeing shoe in your leg then why is the shoe in your leg giving you trouble <laughs> remove those things and face jesus and be let the glory of the lord fill your life amen so make friends with people who are lowly don't say i am of a higher class no he's not my class you know the friends of jesus at all friends of jesus people they come lazarus was who lazarus was who a friend of jesus what class did he belong in a society what class lower yourself you will enjoy the wealth of god the blessings of god that is what the lord is saying in verse 12 of romans chapter 12 rather verse 16 verse 16 of romans chapter 12 the bible says be of the same mind one toward another mind not high things but condescend to men of low estate be not wise in your own hour in your own conceit mind not high things 
high high top 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 my class <laughs> my, my brethren you came down here from where and here they put mattress that hey, everybody should sleep you look at the mattress me sleep here I have never done it since I left Nigeria and went to America in fact this type of mattress is not in America how will I come and belittle myself <laughs> I, I this this what somebody told a story he, he came from America according to the story it's a story and landed in Yola Adam Austin in the hot afternoon Kai he said this is damn hot what is the federal government doing about this <laughs> federal government should control the sun in the sky <laughs> praise the Lord don't mind hiding learn to suffer with people they are your brethren Moses forsook the, rich, the riches of Egypt for the reproach of his people the people of the Lord because he considered the reward come down suffer with the people there is heat bear it learn this humble life Jesus was born not in a hotel but in the house of animals learn this lower life so that you can live with your brethren because only five few people are on top the majority of people are down here so if you want to be on top you will have to leave the majority of the people calm down humble your mind today you have learned don't join your tribal people after the flesh to hate people because they are of the other tribe your brethren are of the other tribe too because Jesus said go into all the tribes of the world and preach the gospel so we have gone there preachers have gone to all tribes which tribe are you going to join your people to hate don't hate your brethren because they are of another tribe don't, don't affect other people hate them because they're of another class maybe lower class you kick them all jesus said go into all the classes of people in the world and preach the gospel to every one of them every creature and those in the lower class have accepted christ in fact blessed are the poor for theirs is the kingdom of god they accept christ more readily because of problems don't why, why are you looking down on them you will be looking down on christ Pray for real Christianity. Pray that the Lord will touch your life. Pray that the Lord will decorate your life. Pray that the Lord will strengthen your life. Pray that the Lord will polish your life. Pray that your Christian life will shine. And that you will be a blessing to all men in the world. Rise up upon your feet and bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Worship you, Lord. Let your name be praised. Let your name be thanked. Thank you, Lord. Walk in your church. Remove this pride, envy, and jealousy. Superiority complex, inferiority complex, respect of persons, despite of people, hatred. Remove it from the church. Let the church be one. Let the church be one. Let the church be one because jesus christ is coming he wants us to be one commit yourself to go to remove superiority complex inferiority complex remove them nobody is greater than you you are greater than the person who is not born again 
Thank you, Jesus. Believers are one in Christ worldwide. Wherever we meet from various tribes, let's see ourselves as one in Christ. Wherever we meet from various nations, let's see ourselves as one in Christ. Wherever we meet from various races, let us see ourselves as one in Christ. God is not a racial God. God is not a tribal God. He's not a God of one nation only. Thank you. Jesus' name we pray. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3900. Zero eight zero five six eight three four three two three. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail dot com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Ah! Uh -huh.
Oh, 